It's more than just inflation, part two. One of the main reasons for this out of control inflation we're experiencing right now is the rise in gas prices. But it's not just because of the printing the Bank of Canada did. It's because Justin Trudeau, in fact, most Western governments have succumbed to environmental left wing radical cancel culture that refused to develop our natural resources and that threatened against Canadians developing their natural resources. All of this is a self-inflicted injury. Don't take my word for it. Listen to Dan McTagg a couple of weeks ago. When we hear about the uh, limited supply causing the increase, is that self-inflicted? Is that a man-made sort of supply where the tap is kind of turned off? Is it something that simple, or how does that work? Look, oil fields have been under severe uh, constraint in terms of uh, investments. There just isn't, it has been any money for several years uh, to produce new oil fields or to go out and risk uh, building pipelines. Uh, there's a you know a comedy of errors, but the, you know this is really death by a thousand cuts. We've taken a position that uh, we don't need this oil and that we don't need this natural gas. Along comes COVID, uh, post-COVID demand you know pop, and now we need a lot more than we've ever needed before. The supply just isn't there to meet that demand. Big rate hikes are not going to get us out of this inflation. They're not going to reduce the price of gas or the price of food. What we need to do is to commit to developing Canada's natural resources. If we're going to tackle this inflation, we need to telegraph to the market that we're serious about developing Canada's natural resources. I'm going to turn Canada into a natural resources superpower. So please, rank me first on your leadership ballot and donate at joinroman.ca slash donate.